Mark, two nil defeat today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Uh, performance was was good and it was strong. I thought that the second half we really rallied and finished in the ascendancy. But um, first half, I think they showed their little bit of quality and cutting edge. They're obviously a, a team bang in form. Um, got so, you know an array of, of of great players at this level, and um, you know it was it was a little bit more of a. You know, we're both getting the measure of each other in the first half, and um, like I said, they showed that clinical edge when they needed to. Um, disappointing from us um, that we, the way, the manner that we conceded the goals um, from from counter attack situations, which we always try to work hard to, to nullify, and we probably got our distances and our body shape a little bit wrong at uh, at times. What I will say is that we didn't in the second half. You know, we fixed things. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't fold. We didn't. We didn't roll over. We went and took the game to them second half. We had a lot of action in and around in and around their final third. Um, yeah, we got. We would want to work their goal more than we did, but um, you know, lots of final third entry penalty entries, and uh, just couldn't find that that next goal. The next goal was going to be huge. If we got it, it would, you've seen what a goal does to us now. It lifts it, lifts the crowd, lifts the mood. But I think the crowd could see that as a team with, with intent, trying to do their best to um, get back in the game, and um, yeah, you know, we're playing a. A team in, in hot form at the moment, and um, like I said, we certainly made a fist of it second half. Always areas that we want to improve on and sharpen up on, but the most important thing is I saw the character and the intent in that second half where we we're fighting and probing and being brave, getting on the ball, and we had to really try. It's hard to break down a real stubborn defence. Uh, I think Dagenham uh, manager was disappointed with the goals he conceded against Barnet, you know, and they've scored a hatful, but I think they were disappointed the way Barnet nearly wrestled back in the game. So once they got the lead, they, they you know, they were quite focused on, on, on not giving that up and uh, you know they were very stubborn and resilient and uh, but we got you know over, you know we got to ride ride that challenge and we certainly weren't through the lack of effort exactly that I think you know we've won obviously the next last two games and we've gone into this game full of confidence from those performances you know you're coming up against a team that scored seven in their last game so to put in as a as brave a performance as we did today is credit to the boys out there today yeah definitely and uh, like I said first half we've gone loose on a couple of times and been punished and that's what happens when you play against good sides but we did we did rally and we did we did get, give it you know our best in the second half we always, we always want more that's, that's that's the way we work you know we always look at ways that we can be be better but the, it's important that the, the mentality of the group and the attitude of the group um, you know dug in and and we were, it was a real front foot performance we you know we asked a lot of questions um, yet we need to be more clinical um, for sure but um, look at least you know, it's, it's it's one one step at a time. We've got to keep looking for improvement. And although we've lost today, there was some there was certainly some green shoots. There was some real positive uh, situations out there. Jordan and Garlo coming on, who's uh, been a you know a project in the in the in the background that not many people know about. That he's um, been working hard and he's been out on loan at Hayes and has some real strong performances. Um, you know, I feel that he's going to be a strong player for us going forward. So it's good to see him get out there. Mo Betama come on and got some minutes. Um, you know, we, we we really did attack some great in, into play, and uh, you know, on another day we would have got the goal, would have changed the feeling. I'm sure we could have uh, made a bit more of a fist of it. But um, look, we'll, we'll lick our wounds, we'll learn from the uh, experience, and um, we'll also learn from the the hardship that we went through before. And we never want to go back to that place. And we got we got to carry on fighting to get these points on board, fight for them them the better feeling because. Uh, it was it was great playing out there today in front of our crowd, um, and the boys I felt showed bravery and showed that, you know, that attacking threat, and uh, the crowd stayed with us and pushed us, and um, you know we we are here to entertain, we're here to work hard for the shirt, and we we've got to keep uh, keep wanting more, got to keep wanting to improve, and keep making this place an enjoyable place to play your football. Whereas um, you know the, previously we've we've made it tough for ourselves here, so. Um, you know the fans can see as an honest, hard-working performance out there, and um, you know we, we hope to reward them with more points very soon. I think that's the difference today, isn't it? Is obviously they've had their two chances. The first half scored them. I think of our second half performance, which was much better. You know, you got Tommy's chance. You had a, several shots blocked from them, and it's you know on another day those go in, and it's a different game altogether. Yeah, absolutely, and, uh, and that's where we've got to be. You know, we've got to keep keep working hard. We've got to find that clinical edge, and we've got to be making sure we're concentrated and focused in in our own attacks. It was our own attacks that caused our downfall today. So, um, yeah, we we've got to keep um, you know our awareness. You know, we've got to make sure our communication is right, our body language, our distances. So, you know, small details, but they add up. And uh, you know, the second half ended in frustration. I think aided by you know a lot of small things. Going against us, adding up, you know, it was a frustrating performance, I thought, from uh, 
the people in the, in the man in the middle uh, made it made it a bit of a frustrating one for us as well. But you know, not, nothing major. No no complaints, no excuses from me whatsoever. We can only control what we can control. But it just aided to the frustration when you're chasing a game and um, you know there's a lot of stop start moments, ones that you think could have could have gone our way and, and didn't. Just just um, added to the frustration. That's why I was pleased with the boys. I don't think they lose lost focus. They they stepped up, kept on task, kept trying to um, ask questions, kept trying to get that goal. Uh, unfortunately, just fell a little bit agonisingly short today. Touched on obviously the fans and the support, and obviously giving them something to cheer about as well. A bit of an improved number of people here today. How important is it that they're with us the whole way through? That's vital. It's absolutely vital. You know, we're we're, we're together. You know, we're we're giving everything we got. We know we've um, you know come up short a few times this season, but. You know, they've been tough times, but when you come through them tough times, like, we've got to come through it together, we've got to stick together. You know, we're, we're so much stronger together, I say it all the time. Um, but it's a, two, it's a two-way thing. We've got to give them something to cheer about. They've got to see, they've got to see the, the fight and the determination, the attacking intent. And sometimes when you lose, things are highlighted a lot more. And, uh, things, you know, and that, that feeling around the place is a lot more doom and gloom. And only we can lift it we you know we've lifted it temporarily at the moment with our you know I'd say the last three performances I include today um, but we've got to make sure that we continue to lift it continue to keep giving them something to get behind and you know that, that falls on me and, and my, my staff and my, and my players but what we are doing is we're competing in the toughest league it's ever been in with the youngest team every week um, but what they are, they've learned in some really valuable lessons and going through some real good life experiences at the moment should stand them in good stead going forward at this football club and in their lives as well. And just a final note, obviously our next game, Solihull Holloway, another big game as we look to end the season well. Yeah, again, another team bang, bang in form. Uh, I think they were unbeaten in 15 till they played Stockport today. So uh, a team that we've got to use, um, you, know, that, you know, the respect that we'll show them, we've got to use that to bring out the best in us. And, you know, we want to play against the best, we want to test ourselves, we've got to be able to compete with those teams. That's what we're striving to do. And um, you know it's a great chance for us to get back on the uh, get back on the horse, so to speak, and uh, go and put in a real positive performance up there. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shot.